let me very briefly explain what the NAD precursor world is actually about. So we thought over here we got NAD, that's the molecule that we need for life, that we need for longevity in youth. How do you boost that? Well, you shouldn't just take NAD because NAD is a big molecule. It's got two phosphates, it's got two sugars, it's got niacin, it's big. And the cells struggle, for the most part, cannot absorb it. So what cells need is a precursor. So you can give to the body is NR, nicotinamide riboside, and that's sold as a supplement. Then let's go to the next one, which is what I work on mostly, which is NMN, which is NR plus a phosphate. If you give NR, you lack the phosphate, and then NMN has everything. I have caught both NR and NMN, which are the two leading contenders in the market, into mice, and I put a lot of NMN into to people. And so one of the problems is that if you just give NR, your body has to find phosphate from somewhere. Where would it get it? It's in bones, it's in DNA. You might have issues finding enough phosphate, and that might be why in practice, in mice, and seemingly if you look at clinical trials in humans, NR is not boosting levels of NAD in the bloodstream as high as NMN does. But I can tell you for a fact that having looked at dozens of clinical patients at Harvard Medical School, that NMN certainly will double or triple your NAD levels if you just swap.